For some people celebrating the Easter holiday over the weekend, a big surprise when they went to an Easter egg hunt. On the ground where the children were playing, a used syringe and needle were found, we're told. It happened at Robert P. Miller Park in Delray Beach, News Channel 5's. Charlie Keegan joins us live from the park with the family's concerns. Charlie? So this is a very busy park, Michael. You can see baseball practice getting started here this afternoon in full swing. There are a lot of kids at Miller Park, even some waiting in on the jungle gym here behind me. But first, a father has a warning to parents today. This after his wife found a used syringe and needle just underneath the playground equipment here at the park. Take a listen. Every time we come to these parks, we're going to have to, uh, you know, look around the area really well before I let them start playing. Want to find. Wayne, Patton, yeah, Wayne Patton had recorded the find and then posted it online. He also told a police officer about the needle. That police officer took care of it, removed it from the area. But Pat Node is concerned for his two-year-old son that he could have gotten hurt or even worse, become infected with something if he found the needle. And doctors will tell me that there is reason to be concerned. Used needles can pass blood-borne diseases like hepatitis or HIV, plus there are other bacterial infections. Dr. Raul Rodriguez says more needles can come along with the increasing popularity of heroin on the streets. Usually the individuals who would be using needles uh, to use drugs would be at a higher risk of having one of these diseases. It's a byproduct of the addiction. And we found this park was inspected just back on March 30th, less than one week ago, and staff members found no needles during that inspection. They come around routinely to check on parks like this. Live in Delray Beach, Charlie Keegan, WPTV News Channel 5. Happening now, traffic